I tell you, when you find a friend artist and you click, you can sit down and you can laugh and you can, I mean, it gives you a joy in your life that you just don't have any other way. My medium of art is oil and uh, I started in 95 painting and since then I've done a little bit of everything, watercolor, drawing with pencil, and then I've started pottery uh, just lately with my friends from the Art Sanctuary. It's a place where I come to get away. Sometimes I just come and sit uh, and absorb the atmosphere. There are people you can ask opinions of. There are people that inspire you. But the building itself just kind of has a, a life and a vibe about it that makes me feel creative. It was an old church. The rooms are just wonderful to be divided up into little studios for artists to paint in. And then you have so much to look at and enjoy. They are immersed in art from many different artists, many different media, many different styles. Everybody who is in here is an artist. Everything that somebody does they put a bit of themselves in it. And to me, that's creativity and that's being an artist. My niece, we put her on the computer and she joins us. I mean, it's touching the art community in Washington because where she lives, she's by herself. They really embraced me when I first got here. They helped me, they tried to help me succeed. Everyone just kind of took me in, showed me the ropes and the friendship probably means more to me than about anything else here. There's been artists that have passed away from here and you develop that friendship with them and uh, Sandra Gray was a wonderful, beautiful artist. I just loved the way that she painted with her brush. It was so soft and gentle. And then when she passed away, I had another good friend, Jane Schoon, and her health kind of deteriorated in here, but we could still do things. And she did butterflies. And that very year that she passed away, we worked and planted flowers, and we had an abundance of butterflies that year, which I just thought, Jane's here. She's looking at these flowers. <laughs> There's a certain amount of change with each artist that comes and goes. Uh, dynamic and interactions change, but also inspirations change. When Micah came, she added an energy and an adventurousness that we didn't have before. Well, we all have one thing in common, and it's to create art. To create art that speaks to us, speaks to others. You know, I've always kind of been an outgoing person, but being home for so many years, I'd kind of really just closed myself up. And when I found this place, it's like I got my wings back. I just don't know how else to explain it. It was like, I just felt so much better about myself, about life. And I feel like a lot of ways, the art sanctuary and people here kind of saved me. That's an extreme comment, but it's true. It's, it's very true.